on how we can diagonalize a matrix. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to reduce the matrix A. Here A is a 3 cross 3 matrix having 3 rows and 3 columns. So we have to reduce this matrix A to the diagonal form. So let's try to solve this problem. We know that when we want to convert a n cross n matrix to the diagonal form, we have to convert it into or multiply it with a modal matrix. We have to find this modal matrix M inverse AM. This M is the modal matrix. For this modal matrix, it is formed by the columns and rows and the columns of this matrix are the eigenvectors of this matrix A. So columns of modal matrix M are the eigenvectors. And these eigenvectors, they are determined by the eigenvalues of this matrix A. So our aim is to find out the eigenvalues of this matrix A. How we can find out? First, we will write the characteristic equation. Now, characteristic equation, it is given by lambda I minus A, its determinant equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation of a matrix where lambda is the eigenvalue, i is the identity matrix and a is the matrix given to us. So this complete equation lambda i minus a equals to 0 it is the characteristic equation and the roots of this characteristic equation will give us the eigenvalues of the matrix. So we will find the roots of this characteristic equation so that we will be able to get the eigenvalues and through eigenvalues we will determine eigenvectors then the modal matrix and this multiplication M inverse AM will convert the matrix A to the diagonal form. So let's start with our first step. Let us determine the characteristic equation. Because A is a 3 cross 3 matrix, so we have to choose the identity matrix also as a 3 cross 3 matrix. So it will be the identity matrix has all its diagonal elements as 1 minus A. A is given to us in the question. This is our matrix A, identity matrix multiplied with lambda. Lambda minus minus 1, it will be lambda plus 1. 0 minus 2, it will be minus 2. 0 minus minus 2 plus 2. 0 minus <clears throat> 0 minus 1 minus 1 lambda minus 2 lambda minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus minus 1 it will be plus 1 0 minus minus 1 again plus 1 and lambda minus 0 it will be lambda so this is our lambda i minus a now we have to equate this equation to 0. We have to find out the determinant and then we will equate it to 0. 
so let us find out here then lambda determinant of lambda i minus a it will be given by lambda plus 1 and lambda minus 2 and lambda multiplied these two and minus multiply these two terms let us find the determinant we have lambda plus 1 minus of minus 1 then for this term minus sign and then we have to find out the determinant for this so we will have minus of minus 2 then minus 1 multiplied with lambda minus lambda minus of minus 1 so it will be plus 1 then next we have plus 2 minus 1 my plus 1 minus 1 minus lambda minus 2 let's just solve this multiply these terms so lambda minus a multiplying this we will get Two minus one it will be one and here plus two so it will be plus two and then minus two lamb minus two lambda square plus lambda square it will be minus lambda square plus lambda minus two lambda minus two lambda minus two lambda so it will be minus six lambda plus lambda so it will be minus five lambda here we have one 2, 2, so it will be plus 5. Now we have to equate this equation to 0 because lambda i minus a is determinant. You have to equate this equation to 0. So this equation is our characteristic equation. Now we will find the roots of this equation. If we find the roots, then it comes out to be solving it. We have lambda equals to 1 and lambda equals to plus minus root 5. These are the two roots of this equation which satisfy if we put the value of lambda equals to 1 and plus minus root 5 in this equation it will satisfy this condition. So the eigenvalues will become lambda 1 equals to 1 lambda 2 is root 5 and lambda 3 is minus root 5. Now corresponding to each eigenvalue there will be an eigenvector so let us find the eigenvectors. So for each eigenvalue we will find the eigenvector so let us first start with lambda 1 equals to 1. So how we can find out the eigenvector Through this equation, lambda 1, if you put the value of lambda 1 equals to 1 here, then this characteristic equation multiplied with this eigenvector will be equals to 0. So through this, we can find out the eigenvector. Put the value of lambda 1 here, it's 1. So it will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is lambda i lambda 1 into i minus a matrix it is minus 1 2 minus 2 1 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 then this whole matrix it is multiplied with x so here we will have suppose the components of this x, x matrix are x1 y1 and z1 and this is equals to 0 so we have 0, 0, 0. So when you solve this, you will get three equations. And 
we are three variables here x1 y1 z1 so three unknown variables and three equations so you can easily get the value of this eigenvector x let us solve this here we have one minus minus one so one minus minus one it will be two then zero minus two minus 2 0 minus minus 2 it will be plus 2 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus minus 1 plus 1 0 minus minus 1 plus 1 and 1 minus 0 plus 1 multiply this with x1 y1 and z1 this is equals to 0 0 0 so we have multiplied this, we will get three equations 2x1 minus 2y1 plus 2z1 equals to 0. So we have these three equations. Now using these three equations, we can get the value of the three variables x1, y1 and z1. So x1 will come out to be 1, y1 will be equals to 0 and z1 will be equals to minus. If you solve these three equations, you will get the value of these three variables. So our eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda1 equals to 1 is one zero and minus one now for second eigenvalue that is lambda two equals to root five now corresponding to this the eigenvector can be calculated by putting lambda two i minus a here again we have x equals to zero so lambda two root five multiplied with i so all the diagonal components will become root 5 minus a put the value of a matrix then this whole is multiplied with x matrix now take the values x2 y2 z2 equals to 0 Now just multiply this, we will have root 5 minus minus 1, so it will be root 5 plus 1. 0 minus 2 minus 2, 0 minus minus 2 plus 2, 0 minus 1 minus 1, root 5 minus 2, 0 minus 1 minus 1. 0 minus minus 1 plus 1, 0 minus minus 1 plus 1, root 5 minus 0 will be root 5. So we have three variables again and when we multiply this with x2, y2, z2, we will get three equations. So let's have these equations root 5 plus 1 multiplied with x2 so again we have these three equations when we solve these three equations we will get the value of x2 as root 5 minus 1 y2 is 1 and z2 is minus 1. So the eigenvector will become so this is for the eigenvalue root 5. Now the third eigenvalue is minus root 5. Now for this the eigenvector will be 
put the value of lambda 3 here in the identity matrix so it will be minus a matrix multiplied with the x now x will be x3 y3 z3 okay now let's multi uh, multiply we will have minus root 5 minus minus 1 so minus root 5 plus 1 0 minus 2 Let us multiply this. So these are the three equations. Now if we solve these three equations, we will get the value of x3 as root 5 plus 1. So the eigenvector will be now we have the eigenvectors corresponding to each of the eigenvalues. So we can form the modal matrix. Now the modal matrix will be M. It is formed by the rows and columns. Here the columns are the eigenvectors. So our first eigenvector was 1, 0 and minus 1. Second eigenvector was root 5 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. And third eigenvector is root 5 plus 1 minus 1, 1. So we have this modal matrix. So we can now have M inverse AM. This will be when we convert the A matrix into this form M inverse AM. Then this A matrix will become get converted into the diagonal form. So our question was to re uh, reduce this A matrix to the diagonal form. And this A matrix is now this M inverse AM. If we mark this as a D matrix M inverse AM, that is the diagonalized matrix. Then this multiplication will be, we have to find out the M inverse, then A and M. And we have another matrix here. We have this modal matrix we have written here. We have calculated and the diagonalized matrix will become, it will have all the diagonals value. Root 5 and minus root 5. The diagonal elements will be the eigenvalues of the matrix and rest all other elements will be 0. Okay. So in this way we can reduce any of the matrix given to us. Uh, it will be an n cross n matrix here. It was a 3 by 3 matrix. So in this way, any matrix, any n cross n matrix can be reduced to the diagonal form. So I hope you can solve these types of problems for diagonalization of a matrix. Uh, I hope this problem was clear to you. Thank you.